TikTok ads versus Facebook ads. Which should you choose and why? So today's video is going to talk about the differences between Facebook ads and TikTok ads and which one should you choose if you want to run social media ads. So let's dive in and find out the details. So my name's Polly Powell and I help businesses with TikTok funnels and email automations. Don't forget, if you're new here, to hit the subscribe button and like and comment on this video at the end. Okay, so let's talk about TikTok to start with. The TikTok social media app has grown at lightning speed. It's not just an app for 12 year olds dancing on TikTok. It's just not that anymore. TikTok is now like what Facebook was like 10 years ago. Now, if you got in on Facebook ads way back in 2012 when they were cheap, you could target who you liked, everybody was making loads of money and you were in the boom era. But now the problem with Facebook is they've got so many rules, so many regulations, accounts are getting banned everywhere. It's so restrictive on what you can do that that's why people are turning to TikTok. So TikTok has pretty much built their ad platform very similar to the Facebook ad platform. So if you've been running Facebook ads already, it will be pretty easy for you to start running your TikTok ads because the setup is very similar. You have a campaign setup, you have your ad set level, and then you have your ad level. So that is all pretty much the same. The difference with TikTok is targeting options have been quite limited in the past two years but they are getting so much better now especially in the uk when before you could only target england wales or scotland they have recently just introduced where you can target certain counties there's not many to choose from just yet but you can target certain counties so they are constantly improving the platform to make the ads better you do have a TikTok pixel the same as you have on Facebook, so that is good. But with the iOS updates, tracking pixels are limited to Android users unless people opt in. So you always need to make sure that you've got another tracking software set up so you can exactly see what's tracking and what's working and what's not working. Targeting on TikTok ads is very similar to targeting on Facebook. You get your interest targeting that you can target. They are less options of interest targeting on TikTok versus the Facebook. But with TikTok, you can also get hashtag targeting. So you can choose up to five hashtags and you can target ads for that, which is not possible on Facebook. So that is an additional bonus for TikTok ads. Budget wise, with Facebook, you can run ads for very limited five dollars a day five pounds a day three pounds a day two pounds a day there's not much of a limit a, a, lim a budget limit but on tiktok you have to spend minimum 20 pounds a day uh if you're in the us that's 20 dollars a day is the minimum spend that you can set your campaign or your ad set level so there is a bit of a difference there so that could be a barrier to some people who want to test it but i would say if you're going to test it, test it for three days and give it a go. The difference with creatives on TikTok versus Facebook is you can set up a Facebook ad and you could run it for weeks, months with the same creative and it will keep working, working, working. Now, with TikTok, your creatives are limited to approximately a week, I would say. If they haven't worked in a week, they're not going to work. So you need to be constantly creating new videos, testing new creatives all the time find a winning video ad so there is more video work creating the creatives in tiktok versus what you can do in facebook because you can just put a video you can put a video you can put an image you can put a carousel where tiktok it's just a vertical full length video but you've got to make a lot more creatives on the tiktok ad platform um TikTok ads reach. Now, 17.9% of all internet users, 18 plus, are on the TikTok platform. That's 88.4 million people over 18 are on TikTok. So that's amazing stats. Now, let's dive in and have a look at a few more stats that I dug out on the internet to share with you. Okay, so let's look at some stats that I got from some reputable internet sites um across the internet so 
monthly active users. Facebook ads report 2.91 billion monthly active users. Now, TikTok, this is not ads, this is just organic. I don't know why I've got Facebook ads, these TikTok ads, it's because we're talking that, but these are monthly active users. TikTok has 1 billion monthly active users and growing daily active users. So Facebook has 1.93 billion, but TikTok is fast approaching them and they have got 30.8 million daily active users. If you think back to Facebook when it first started, it took a long time for people to get on the app. TikTok is growing so fast. Now is the time to jump on board. So time spent on the app. So Facebook average is people 33 minutes a day versus TikTok. People are spending an average of 49 minutes a day on TikTok. So when you're running ads, just think, if people are on the app for longer, they're gonna see your ads. Because with TikTok, you scroll, you're watching videos and you're scrolling through, you get absorbed into the app and your ads will show inside of these when people are just scrolling. And if you make your ads look like TikToks, not ads, then people will just think they're just a TikTok. So the most downloaded social media app so far in this year, Facebook is running in third position. They are losing users, but TikTok is growing and it is the number one social media app that is downloaded it this year. So let's look at now some actual ad stats. So these are averages that have been calculated. So cost per click, Facebook ads have increased by 13% since 2020. And that's mainly due to the iOS updates. Because Facebook can't really track people like it used to be able to. So it can't do as good a job with the algorithm as it used to. Now, TikTok ads, there's just not enough data. There's nowhere yet that has this data to share with everybody. So this is not got a price on it yet. My clients are seeing about 70 pence on a cost per click, but it depends what type of ad you're running, what campaign, what goal. Lots of different things can go into that. Daily video views, Facebook ads, Video views, just video views, not ads. Video views on Facebook are getting 4 billion daily video views. TikTok ads are getting 1 million daily video views. Average cost per click, 94 cents for Facebook ads. I've got something wrong here because we've got cost per click twice on my screen. So cost per click and 94 cents. Cost per click on TikTok ads, around 19 cents. But it depends, as I said, what your ad is. There's lots of variations that can go into that. Um, and average CPM, so that's cost per 1,000 impressions. On Facebook, you're looking at around $12. TikTok ads, there's just not enough data yet to prove the averages across lots of accounts. TikTok hasn't released any stats yet like that, so the data is just not there yet. So it's very little to go on at the moment with TikTok. Facebook's been around for quite a number of years now, so they've got a lot of data that they share. TikTok just hasn't got the data yet. So that is my overview of Facebook ads versus TikTok ads. Now, what I suggest to you is, if you're already running Facebook ads, take a small portion of that budget, say the minimum, £20 a day, $20 a day, and go and test some TikTok ads. Try it for two weeks and just see what results that you can get. You might be surprised because going in now with TikTok ads is like going into Facebook ads back in 2012. The options are wide open. So as the platform is not saturated with advertisers, you get more reach and lower costs. So it is worth trying it. If you're a local business, I don't suggest you try uh, TikTok ads at the moment because the targeting options, especially in the UK, US is slightly different, but especially in the UK, the targeting options are very limited. Only if you live in one of the counties that they have opened up for specific targeting, which are larger counties like Bristol, Manchester, 
Birmingham, Leeds and Greater London. I think that is the only options. And Cardiff, if you're in Wales. Anywhere else, you can't target locally. And I suggest you go with organic TikToks and use your hashtags to grow your following as an organic platform there. Everybody else, if you're an online seller, if you're in clothing, if you're in fitness, if you're in finance, also any of the special categories on Facebook ads that are very hard to target now because of the clampdown on Facebook ads, if you have to register as a special category as a Facebook ad, then I definitely 100% say go and try TikTok ads because they're not so restrictive on what you can and can't do at the moment. So it's definitely worth testing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's opened your eyes up a little bit more to TikTok. Go check out my other TikTok video ads, which help you get started with TikTok ads, um, all the beginner steps that you need to know to get started. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below anything you want to know about TikTok ads. And I'll catch you later.